Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, if you are on the beta channel for Windows 11, you pretty much have, starting with uh, the last build that was released last week, um, what will be the main changes to Windows 11 23H2. So build 22.631.2050 for beta testers has uh, actually been um, out. Uh, and so there's all sorts of new things that have to do with uh, the file explorer. There's the new file explorer that is um, rolling out with um, changes, a few changes, and the way that it actually will appear and work. Um, in there, you have, of course, uh, dynamic lighting settings that are capable of uh, controlling devices with RGB lights. Um, there is Windows Ink improvement. So when you actually have um, ink enabled, you can, of course, write on any part of the screen. Well, the Windows Ink improvements is that wherever you write or handwrite anything, it will be automatically translated to text. So this is one of the, the, the features 23H2s will have. There will be a new volume mixer experience in the quick settings. So uh, that's also something that will be rolling out in the quick settings, the new volume mixer and, and all the uh, different devices. So here's uh, one example here where you'll have all the different options show up, um, which will be more interesting uh, in, in, in the way that it can be handled. So this is going to be kind of cool to, uh, to check out. Uh, you'll have Windows Spotlight wallpapers that will be improved. You'll even get information about where they've been shot. Passkey support with Windows Hello. So you can create and sign in using passkeys on any app or website that support passkeys. Um, there'll be an interesting feature, unsafe pass password copy and paste warning. So if you choose an app or if you go on the web somewhere, you're about to enter a password, maybe you've been reusing that password somewhere, you will be, uh, if you take the password, you copy and paste it in another window, for example, or in an app. Well, the smart screen uh, will be actually um, telling you that your password is a reuse of a password is secure and is unsecure and it's a security risk actually. So this actually is um, in the uh, security app. In the Windows security app you'll have the enhanced phishing protection and the uh, smart screen and this will be one of the features that's gonna actually tell you if you reuse password it's not a good idea. Uh, there will be new voices for narrator. So if uh, some of you use the narrator, uh, one of the uh, the things with the narrator is, of course, the choice of voices narrator and natural dialogue. voices. Skip for now. Button. Alt plus S. New natural voices are available. Narrator, so, narrator so. window. Welcome to narrator. Heading level one. This is narrator. Exiting so. narrator. They're telling you, actually, if you do use the narrator, that there are new natural voices that you can download. Uh, these will be um, available uh, for Chinese, Spanish, um, Spain and Mexico, Japanese, and English, United Kingdom, and more to come. There will be updated Windows Share window. Uh, camera alerts. If your camera isn't working, isn't plugged in, or has maybe a cover, uh, if you use an app that uses the camera, it will let you know that uh, something's not right. So these are some of the things that we now know. One that is kind of interesting is there's no mention yet of Copilot, uh, that feature that we talked about that will be, of course, centered around the Edge, you know, browser. Um, we're not a hundred percent sure that it will be in 23H2. So this is going to be interesting. Are they having more difficulty implementing uh, the Copilot than than before? I don't know. But suddenly, it's uh, not 100% certain. So these are the things that will pop up with 23H2. And if you want to test that out, you can, of course, and go to the uh, beta channel for the insiders. All you have to do is go to uh, Windows Update. And then in here, you'll go to the Windows Insider program. And you'll 
you know, get started, you'll enter your Microsoft account info, choose beta in the choices. So you'll have to choose beta channel. And once that is done, the latest build will download, install, and you're going to restart. And you'll have most of the 23H2 uh, features already there. But the fact that it's now in the beta channel kind of tells us that that's what's going to be officially in 23H2 coming up this uh, fall or in, um, the, the, in October, probably somewhere in October uh, of this year. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.